As Zhou Yi walked through the streets of Dreamless Village, he encountered a group of knights ruthlessly slaughtering innocent people and setting fire to their homes. Amidst the chaos, a child sat on the ground, tears streaming down their face as they cried out for their parents. Zhou Yi's heart clenched as he questioned, Is this the feeling of losing a loved one? Witnessing the scene, he couldn't help but be transported back to his own past, a time when he too had experienced the pain of loss. He remembered the agony of seeing his sister cry after they had lost their step-parents, and the frustration of feeling powerless to comfort her. Anger simmered within him as he muttered to himself, This is the last thing I want to remember. As the screen appeared in front of Zhou Yi, presenting him with a quest to kill the night ghosts and go to the real dreamless land, he pulled out his great sword, Bacchus. Anger surged within him as he yelled at the knights, You scum who massacred the villagers! You call yourselves knights! He aimed his sword at them, ready for battle. As the knights laid eyes on Zhou Yi, they transformed from their normal appearance into skeletons, a green aura enveloping them. With strange noises, they charged toward Zhou Yi to attack. Unfazed, Zhou Yi muttered, So noisy. Zhou Yi activated his skill, disappearing from sight with a taunt. None of you are worthy opponents. Confused, the ghost knights halted their attack, unable to locate him. Some began swinging their weapons blindly, but Zhou Yi swiftly reappeared behind the front knight, striking him. Witnessing their comrade fall, the remaining ghost knights charged at Zhou Yi, determined to overpower him. Zhou Yi swiftly utilized his speed to take down all the knights at once, causing them to collapse suddenly. As they fell, he shouted, All of you, shut up! Annoyed by their eerie noises. With a swift motion, he sheathed his sword on his back and remarked, You all deserve to die. A screen then appeared, indicating that he had successfully defeated the night ghosts and had reached the upper limit of level 20. The excess experience would be automatically sealed until the completion of the hidden quest. As Zhou Yi took a step forward, the ground beneath him began to break apart, emitting a green light. He stood his ground. A hand emerged from the land followed by half of a monstrous figure rising up. He braced himself to face the creature. A screen appeared, displaying the monster's level. The creature declared itself the Immortal Lord, claiming supreme authority. Zhou Yi and the monster locked eyes. A tense silence envelops them. Without hesitation, Zhou Yi unleashed his skill aiming directly at the monster's chest, where the green fire burned. As he struck, he uttered, Since you are already dead, don't emerge to cause harm to others. He turned his head and noticed a floating helmet labeled Broken Lord's Helmet. It served as proof of his victory over the undead lord. Approaching the helmet, he remarked, This should be the next level prop. With determination, he stepped forward, knowing that Xiao Yu, mentioned in the quest, was likely ahead. Entering the Dreamless Village Cemetery, he received a notification of confirmation. There, he found a little girl crying beside two graves, lamenting, Mom and Dad! Don't you want me anymore? I'm scared. Those bad guys killed everyone in the village. Zhou Yi approached her, placing a comforting hand on her shoulder, and asked gently, Are you okay, little sister? Are you Xiao Yu? Through tears, she nodded and replied, Yes, big brother. I'm Xiao Yu. Zhou Yi apologized for the intrusion, but before he could finish, Xiao Yu noticed the sword on his back and grew afraid. She questioned if it was the weapon of the bad guys and accused him of coming to hurt her. Pushing Zhou Yi away, she fled, leaving him stunned and dismayed by the misunderstanding. A notification appeared, indicating that Zhou Yi had angered Xiao Yu. Panicked, Zhou Yi responded, I'm not here to hurt you, Xiao Yu. Please listen to me. I'm not the bad person you see. I killed all the bad guys who were bullying the villagers. Suddenly, a short message appeared, indicating that Xiao Yu's favorable impression of Zhou Yi had dropped to zero. Xiao Yu ceased running and angrily accused Zhou Yi of being full of lies. She cried out for help from the nearby men, calling them uncles, urging them to assist her against the perceived threat. The men, surrounded by an ominous purple aura, moved to encircle Zhou Yi. Meanwhile, Xiao Yu pointed accusingly at Zhou Yi, declaring her determination not to let the bad guys harm them again. 
Uncles, get rid of this bad guy, she commanded. Zhou Yi's expression shifted to one of amazement as he grappled with the situation. He questioned himself. What's the difference between me and those scum if I attack them? Then he suddenly remembered the thief mentor's words about the dreamless village being a chance dungeon, where the focus wasn't solely on killing monsters. Zhou Yi thought to himself, I'll trust you on this one more time. As he was about to pull out his sword from his back, he hesitated and ultimately chose not to fight. Standing still and closing his eyes, he waited as the men closed in on him, their voices growing louder. One questioned, why? Why did you torture us? Another demanded retribution, saying, you have to pay with your life. All right, guys, this is it for today. Please like and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.